Hey Myron, this is Nick at Mangold Ford and uh, behind me is that 2008 GT500 you had asked about. So thought I'd go over it with you real quick, kind of show you some of the things that I've seen as I've walked around it. Um, but like you're looking for something pretty flawless and I think that this car is what you're kind of looking for. So uh, we'll go around it just so you can see it since you are from a ways away. So appreciate the opportunity though Myron, thanks a lot. I thought we'd start with the engine bay, Myron. Um, obviously, you know quite a bit being a, 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 a dealer yourself at one point. Um, it does have an aftermarket air intake, which we do have the original in the trunk. Also has an undersized pulley, um, which the very first owner did, and, and a few other little pieces here with the Shelby GT500 um, logo on it, both He's got the, the strut tower kind of kit to make it look a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner here. Um, but that they have been. Found really no thing on the bumper itself or chips that I've always noticed on these generation Mustangs get on the on the hood themselves in that leading edge but walk around here tires are in real great shape and those are the, the original type tires so I don't know if those are the originals themselves but plenty of tread left on them I believe that's just a water spot there okay so there is one little itty bitty scratch right there it's not very not very big at all um might even be able to be buffed out actually then walking down the side again i really i mean black shows everything and on this one i really don't see any flaws on it right in there as we open the passenger door We've got plastics on the floor. The door cards look like brand new. Passenger seat, no wear, no major wear at least. I mean, the thing has 3,353 miles on it. So even the uh, gear shift is, is in great shape, as is the dash. I mean, the steering wheel still looks like brand new. As far as the back seats go, again, looks almost brand new. I mean, can never say they're brand new anymore with 3,353 miles, but also it is a 2008. So um, he does have, first owner looks like, did some of the performance modifications. It has MBRP exhaust on it. Back in though really don't have anything to comment on there everything looks as it should in the trunk though here we go so it does have the shaker 1000 so that does give you the extra subwoofer which i'm sure you're aware of the tire inflation kit because this first owner also bought a spare tire for it which is on the full size rim um, so it doesn't fit quite right and there's the original air box along with paperwork for the uh, work that has been done the pulley itself, the original pulley in there, along with the, the kit to actually reinstall it. And like I said, he does have a full size spare under here on the original rim. So those are not meant to fit in there, but he, the first owner bought it. It can be put back to stock though, obviously, because we have the air inflation kit. You can take out that spare tire, but it's kind of a nice little feature to have a spare that's on the full size rim, the exact same rim that's around these cars. And again, down the driver's side, I just, <laughs> black will show it as we've seen with that one little itty bitty imperfection on the uh, passenger side. And we'll look at the inside here. Again, not any excess wear on those bolsters like you, we've seen on Mustangs before. Still looks very new. Steering wheel as well, looks fantastic. And the door card itself in great shape. 
We'll get in here. All the instrumentation. And we will get the key out here, Myron, and start it up. Three thousand three hundred fifty-three miles. Emergency brake lights on. Seatbelt light, but other than that, everything looks good. Turn on the radio for you. Radio working as it should. Advanced technology. Advanced control. A little bit of a smudge right there, but I'm sure that can be cleaned up. Don't really need the AC on today because it's cold enough as it is. Um, here we got direction and auto dimming rearview mirrors working as it should. So the radio is working. Also, it does have the ambient lighting, so that's going through the different colors. And then the last thing I wanted to show you too, Myron, was does have the original GT500 SVT owner's guides. So all that is in there. Appreciate it, Myron. I, I hopefully this, this video has been informative. Would love to earn your business. I'll get this video to you and let me see what they can do on pricing with Jeff and I'll be in touch real soon. Thanks so much, Myron.